Hi everyone. I'm doing this video at the exact same time as I'm doing a video on vice stops, so I'll put a link to that one in the description. Uh, but I want to show this off. I've got all these these parts that are supposed to be identical, and they're supposed to be around three quarters of an inch long. And um, I could sit there and break out my micrometer on every single one and measure each one, but that can be somewhat time consuming, especially when you've got a lot of parts to measure. So. I've got one of these granite comparator stands, and you can get these relatively cheaply in the catalogs. They come with a dial indicator. Of course, you could put a more high-quality dial indicator on there if you'd like. Um, but the granite is just like a little surface plate. It's, it's flat, and it's got this column. You've got an indicator holder that rides up and down, and the purpose of it is to do just this thing. You set it with a gauge block or a known good part, and you're comparing that measurement to the ones you're getting with your pieces. So we can come in here, we'll put our gauge block in place, and then you would zero your dial indicator. Now in this case, they're supposed to be three quarters of an inch, and this is a three quarter inch gauge block. Um, now one thing you may not know about dial indicators is they have these clips, and sometimes they go along the outside of the bezel uh, a lot of people think they're really annoying, but they do have a purpose. They are to show what your tolerance would be on something like this. So in this case, uh, let's say I had plus or minus 10. You can have your clips shown at uh, 10 thousandths above or below your, your zero. Then it's very easy to see if your needle is outside of your tolerances. So I've got it zeroed on a gauge block, and let's go ahead and see how my parts stack up. Obviously you want to make sure that the granite is nice and clean before you do this and that all your parts are burr and chip free. So right there I'm just under a thousandth below, about seven or eight tenths, uh, maybe two or three tenths there, about a thousandth, Ooh, five thousandths over, what happened on that one? Oh, there's something underneath it. Yep. About uh, six tenths under. That's a good illustration of why you want to make sure everything's clean. Just a, under a thousandth under. About a thousandth under. A thousandth under. Right on the money. Maybe nine tenths under. And a thousandth under. So real fast. I just slid those all under the indicator and I immediately could tell if my parts were in tolerance or out of tolerance. And in this case, just with my vice stop, I got all of these within a thousandth of an inch. Now another neat way of using these is uh, they've got these indicator tips that you can buy. And they've got a variety of shapes and lengths that screw onto the end of the indicator, so you would undo that. Um, I use the flat tips a lot when I'm dialing in things on a four jaw chuck because there you can be a little above or below center and it's very forgiving as, as it would be if you were off center in the four jaw chuck. Um, for round things that minimizes the point of contact down here on whatever it is you're indicating. Likewise with the pointed tips and you could also use those for grooves and keyways. They have these long slender tips that you can also use for uh, slots and grooves and things like that. And then you've got this bent tip that you can use for measuring, say, undercuts on your pieces. And they're all very, very handy to use with the comparator stand. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.